Planet on Earth is proudly sponsored by Chris's and Dips. Stones Cafe. Geneva. Samedayprinting.com.au. This way. All right, man. It's got to go from behind. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you jumped on me. All right, man. I'm having some. How are you, James? Well, don't you normally sit there? Yeah, I better get back here. Yeah. It's a season finale, Sean. Seen the season two, James. We've done it. We've come back. We're all here. It's done. We've unearthed some amazing talent on the show. It's been an awesome season two. Awesome season two. We've got a special thanks to all our sponsors, of course, and all the guests that have come on the show. Yep. From your Carla Bonner yep. to Paul O'Brien. Yep. No, Paul O'Brien didn't come on. He was on season one. Yeah, season one. We had a bon up. Um, we had some more. Um, we had some awesome guests that came on the show. <laughs> Guys, just spin a few off now. Sure, just spin a few off now. Carl O'Brien. <laughs> Tessa Brian. James. Tessa James. No, Paul O'Brien wasn't it. Tessa James. Yeah. Who else did we have? We had Stick Maribo last week. Yeah, we did. We're gonna have Mark Mitchell this week. We did. Um, we had you on one episode. Yeah, we did have me on one episode. We had Hugh from Kiss FM as well jump in the bed with us. Yeah. Lots. Lots. We interviewed Megan Gale, Eddie McGuire, and Rob McManus at the Astro Awards. Lots there. What more do you want? Well, a bit of money would be good, Sean. I haven't been paid for <laughs> about 10 days now. Mate, never have I. Oh, okay, fair enough. No money. He had no cash. No, no cash. We've got plenty of cash. We've got, we shouldn't be telling this, but we've got lots of cash. Send us your scripts. We'll make the films for you, make TV shows for you. Yeah. We do everything on this show. Yeah. We make dreams come true. We do. We, they turn into nightmares, but that's fine. Only because you're in the bed with you at night time. <laughs> hey, uh, today's show, Mark Mitchell, as we mentioned earlier, you're going to be jumping in the bed with us uh, today. Yeah. And also, <laughs> Low Speed Bus Chase is going to be performing live, and Tommy will be interviewing them as well. Uh, you're going to be with Food with Phil? Yeah, Food with Phil for the last time for season two, Food with Phil. Ooh, thanks to Chris's Dips, yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. And much, much more plus... Plus, we... Rob, Rob's wearing a hat. Oh, Rob, Rob. Nice hat, yeah. Why are you wearing a hat? You don't never wear a hat. Hey, James, guess what are these for? I, be, I hope they're not what for what I think they're for. Yeah, 1,000 likes, people! 1,000, which means we get to shave, or sorry, wax, by these li lovely ladies out there. What, they, they're here? They're here. They're here. They're, she's cute. She's a little cute, isn't she? They're going to pull your pants down and whoosh your bum. Thanks to our fans, our followers, and all 30,000 of you. Can we talk about this, Sean? No, we can't we? talk about this. Tommy now! We have low speed bus chase right here. It's taken the green pills instead of the blue, so let's just go. We've made it, episode 13 of season two, but before we go anywhere, we've got another band in the studio. They are called Low Speed Bus Chase. How are you boys? Good, Good thanks, mate. How you go? Good, thank you for coming in. It's quite all right. Now you were on season one, we and were. you've made it into the last episode. Made thanks for coming back. Yeah. What's thanks been happening us. since season one? Uh, currently working on a second album, so we're getting that done. That's released this year? Trying to be. Trying to be, yeah. yeah. Fun dependent at this point. Yeah. But um, no, we're working on that. We hope to get in the studio October-ish and get it out before Christmas. So how, how long is that process of actually writing and producing an album? How long does that take you guys? How long does it take you, Phil? Uh, six months. Exactly. And three days. Mm -hmm. Six <laughs> months six, six yeah, months and three days? Yeah. Yeah, until the songs, we're happy with what we want to use. So we'll wear it down. And See where we go and how we go and what we do. So awesome, yeah. awesome. Now I was um, I was checking out some of your stuff on YouTube because you do have a website, Facebook, YouTube, which you can see on the screen right now. Link to your Facebook page and your website, um, or one of them. But I did come across your YouTube page and you are doing something at the moment called West Melbourne Sessions. Yeah, yeah, that's correct. We um, we did a whole bunch of acoustic 
um, kind of songs or versions of our songs at Jeff's old house now, because he's yeah. since moved. But, um, yeah, so is the name going to change? Where are you living now? Brunswick. So Brunswick session. Yeah, no, no, <laughs> although, yeah, that, that's a capsule in time. Okay, so yeah. now it's done. So, yeah, we did a whole bunch of um, songs and just going to release them kind of periodically over YouTube to fans to have a listen to and different versions. Now, like they've got quite a few hits. A couple of them have got 30,000. I did see one called um, Twist the Pacific. Yes. That's, um, it's, it's a very good song. I, I, it, the thing it sounded like was Jason Mraz Field. Did you, is that something you're going for? Is that, is that an insult? No, no, no. no. Band? <laughs> it's, it's more, um, it was because well, we're all from New Zealand, so it's kind of paying homage to home. Yeah. So that was what yeah. we went for. It was a real Kiwi kind of feel on that track. So. Now, the, you guys are all from New Zealand, um, except you, are, you were born in... South Africa. South Africa. The accents sound very similar, may I say? Yeah. <laughs> well, but there, there's a lot of great talent coming out of New Zealand these days. Kimbra. Yeah. Um, to just to name one of them, because yeah. that's yeah. all I know. No. <laughs> <laughs> but also, also low speed bus chase. Yeah, but we're like really enjoying Melbourne, so yeah. it's all yeah, it's a good place to be. It's, they all come to Melbourne, or they yeah. all come to Australia. Yeah. That's yeah. it. Yeah, it's very good. So what's what's coming up for you guys, other than the album that hopefully we released this year? But uh, we actually found out we just um, got a support slot with Mark Seymour from Hunters and Collectors. Awesome. And it's going to be on Saturday the 21st of July. So that'll be yeah, coming out very shortly. So all the details will be on your website? On the website and Mark Seymour's website as well. So check him out because he's an Aussie rock legend. So yeah. we're quite happy to be playing with him. And so where, whereabouts is that gig? That's at the Caravan Music Club, which is um, in Oakley. So okay. Yeah, he's got a new album going on. That's yeah. Yeah. That's him. So uh, yeah, we'll be there. So it's going to be a lot of fun. So you will do a big uh, release for the new album. You did one yep. last year. Was no, what year was that? We did. Yeah, we did an EP last year. Yeah. And uh, yeah, first season we're on here, we did one of the tracks off the EP. Yeah. We've actually got a music video coming out for that too. Um, that should be so. Yeah, check out YouTube. We'll keep that posted on our websites as well. So we'll do a song from that, and then we'll get in and do our next album. Have it all released, big release party, and all that jazz. So awesome. Should be all good. Well, everyone can stay connected with you guys um, on your Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter, also yeah, everything, yeah. Any, every avenue. So good. But um, stay locked here on Planet Earth because you guys are performing. What are you performing? What song are you playing? Uh, I was actually doing a song off our first album, Thrill to Chase. It's called Some Things. Well, stay tuned because you will be able to see that very shortly. But thank you very much, guys, for coming in. Cheers, Tom. And uh, good luck with everything. Yeah, thank you. We're going to go to a break. See you later. Cheers. Welcome back to Planet Unearth. I'm Mark Mitchell. I'm going to be the stand in host just until our special hosts turn up. And of course, they're here already. They're in the closet. What they're doing in the closet's their business, but uh, please come out, boys. I love that hat. G'day, mate. G'day, I love that hat. It. Hop into bed. Oh, yeah, my thanks. God. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody needs a shave. <laughs> oh, I tried. It, it was going to take me a week. <sighs> you, you didn't try hard enough. I oh, know. Good to see you, Mark. It's lovely to be seen. Thanks for having us, Mark. Well, thank you for having me. It's, it's lovely to be here. It's lovely to be in bed. So, Sean, and where are the dips? <laughs> I was told there'd be dips. Uh, Tommy, uh, Tommy Jacket, interview extraordinaire, told me that there'd be dips. Well, Chris's dips. Yeah, Mark, the best dips. I know, that's true. Uh, Chris's dips do make the best dips. And Quencher make the best beer. Yeah. And, um, and Tommy does not have a jacket. Well, where the hell are the dips? <laughs> <laughs> where are the damn dips? <laughs> She's scared. She's really scared. Chris, we need dip. <laughs> <laughs> we have the container, but no dip for the container. <laughs> no, it doesn't matter. That, that reminds me a lot of another character, which uh, right. the all Australian audiences will know. Which what, what? guy sells fruit. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 not now. Yeah, 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 yeah. How many times do you get asked to just say that over all the years? Uh, um, party at parties? Look, I'm, I'm pathetically grateful that people um, have hold common affection and so on. Uh, it's weird being the only Australian that makes a living playing a Greek couple. Mm. But... Um, yes. you do, you you're know. doing it well. Oh, thank you. That's very kind. Um, I like to channel different characters uh, mm. and uh, con just happened. A bit like my aggressive wrestler. Yeah. That, what, what are you doing? That's bloody cold. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Quencher. Oh. Oh, thank God it's a bottle. Quencher um, mail. <laughs> Quencher mail. Yes. Pink, pink grapefruit. Yes. Oh. It's one of our sponsors. This is a premium lager infusion. Premium. 
So this is a grapefruit beer. Yeah. Well, Mark, pretty much. That Mark's sounds vile. Yeah. No, it's actually oh. quite nice, Mark. It's um, really. Yeah, it's an Australian company, which is obviously great. Have you actually drunk this stuff? Of course we have. It's we, we've we tried like it. Calling yeah. our sponsors vile, but Look, that's, that's okay. You know, we, well, I don't know. Chris isn't here. There are no pints. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I'm, I mean, I'm fascinated by the pink grapefruit. Yeah. The pink grapefruit yeah. beer. Oh, the, oh my God. Oh, I've I, I, I become overexcited. Uh, hang on. Oh yeah, that's shit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Mark, sorry. you can't say oh, that. Sorry, sorry. Sponsor, Mark. Okay, not my sponsor. Uh, this is. Uh, I don't, I'm sure Quen should do a lot of different drinks. They do, Mark. They do. Um, and I don't have to drink this one, do we? No, you don't. Yeah, it's, it's a warm one. We got to chill it. It mm. is warm, isn't oh, it? Oh. Mark, uh, yeah. to, to, to take. I'm a sorry, I've, I've, I've wet all over your duvet. That's right, Mark. I think I think we need to wrap up. Do we? Okay, it's been fabulous. <laughs> this season, the 13 episodes, has been unforgettable. <laughs> Try as we might. Uh, it's on YouTube, of course, uh, right. the highlights. Uh, it's certainly on the website. I did a good joke then, and no one, no one seemed to get it. Do it again, and everyone, um, now that they know, this everyone... This season, has been, this series has been unforgettable. Try as we might. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, you don't, don't. You're embarrassing well, yourself. Hey, Mark, I, um, I don't get it. What's... Yeah, don't worry. Okay, fine. Um, yeah, so 13 episodes is a great commitment to Australian talent and to Australian uh, production. Continuity, especially. Continuity, absolutely. It's, it's, beyond, it's beyond compare. The continuity, there is none. So, look, well done. Well done, boys. Thank and you, thank uh, you, to all the sponsors who've stood by the program, even the ones with, frankly, crap products. Uh, <laughs> As opposed to Chris's dips. Uh, well done and thank you very much. I don't really mean that's crap. Um, it's just not something I drink. Unless forced. Um, <laughs> Force it, Danny. Oh, I, I believe it's, it's that you're... Is it your I, brother? My, who's doing a food segment now? No, no. Yes. They, they yes. Your cousin? <laughs> yes, it is. You're not Yeah, that's right. Okay, yeah, and yeah, apparently yeah. it's something that... Uh, we don't know what he's cooking, but we know he's it's He's cooking up good. a storm as he does every week. I can't wait to see this. Phil Varkos and my, my twin brother. Will he be arriving later with dips? He might. He, he is now. Otherwise, Mark's going to crack it again. I am going to crack it. Yeah. Bit of, bit of I've bit. been channeling wrestler. <laughs> so shut the fuck up. Okay. Um, <laughs> let's just, go. We've just we look gone. forward to seeing you next time. Just gone to MA yeah. Ray. <laughs> Thanks, Mark. Thanks, Mark. Food with Phil. Welcome back once again to Food with Phil. Phil Varkos over here at Spitigal Restaurant. Uh, thanks to Chris's dips, of course, for this segment. And uh, how are you, Phil? Good, man. Yeah, good, mate. Good. Um, you didn't actually ask me how I was, but that's no. all right. I just say oh. good anyway. Oh. Yeah. Oh, thanks. Let's do it again and say, how all are right. you? How are you, James? Yeah, no, I'm really bad. But anyway, um, oh. let's get on with the dish. Yeah, you're looking well. I am looking, I'm looking, I'm looking well. <laughs> You've got the unshaven look like me today. As always, well. always. It's good. Yeah. It's, it's a wog thing. Yeah, it is a wog thing. We don't like the shave. Speaking of wog we, things. We break the rules. <laughs> We're making something uh, traditional. Would you yes. say it's traditional? Well, look, um, Greek look on my list, the donut balls. You make, you, you, you're making a donut. Yeah, but, but what, what are you putting in it? it? With chicken. 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 Chicken Marinated donuts. Chicken. Hey, want some chicken? Can I feel it? Chicken. And what we're going to do is, instead of like, you know, with the Greek lukuma, you put honey over the top. Yep. We're going to finish it off with the wasabi aioli. This is the one I prepared earlier. Wasabi aioli. Aioli is just like a, a garlic mayo, so an emulsion with egg yolks and oil and but garlic. But wasabi to me wasabi. Is, is Japanese uh, hot. Yeah, I know, uh, I know. But you know what, man? Like, I like to break the rules. I'll tell you what. You're breaking them now. Let's go make some. <laughs> to the fryer. To the fryer? Why not? To the All right, fryer, so that's where man. we're going to go. <laughs> Phil, we're here at the deep fryer. This is the deep fryer section yeah. of the uh, <laughs> of the kitchen. <laughs> we're tucked into the corner. What are you doing? Are you playing with the chicken? What I'm, are you doing? I'm playing with it. I'm trying to cover it all in the batter. And what we're going to do is just... Chicken donuts we're making here at Spitigal Restaurant. Just be careful. When of course, this in. is the restaurant owned by Phil Barkos. So what Barcos. you want to do is make sure you get all, all the excess donut batter off. Look at that. And these taste magnificent. Well, so I've heard. Find, yeah, so it's actually, all the Planet on Earth viewers are the first people that are going to see this actual this entree. People have got to get down to your restaurant in uh, South Melbourne. Why don't you come down for a trip? I should come down. I know. <laughs> I've been meaning to come down and have dinner or lunch or something or breakfast That's or just. Okay. You know, just cook. How long do these take? Can I have a go at one? Subtitles. Can I, have a, yeah, can I get my hand? Is there any left? Yeah, just be careful. All right. Don't burn yourself. Just get, oh, there's, I think there's one in there. And you just, you take off the excess, apparently, and you just, you put... <laughs> I'm so bad. I am so bad at this. Sean, yeah. why have you got me doing cooking? I'm really bad. 
But it's great. Speaking of Phil Varkos. We are back from the deep fryer section, back to the serving <laughs> section, the eating section here. <laughs> Phil, these um, chicken donuts yeah. look fantastic. Thanks. Right? We'll give them a go. We'll what, what do you put? A bit of seasoning? A bit of seasoning. A bit of rucola. So what, what, you know, because I've never tasted one before. What no. am I expecting to taste here? Is it like a, a sweet no, no, chicken? Just, no, no, no. Kind of, what it's just like a really soft chicken in kind of like a, a light... Kind of like a cross between a donut and a beer batter. There you go. Mm. A donut and a beer batter. Like it's, it's, you know, I do put a bit of beer in it just to cheat because I like the flavour and the crispiness. If I get if I get pulled over, you're not going to get pulled over for having this chicken donut right. in beer now batter. What I'm do is a bit right. of wasabi aioli. Yeah, yeah, the top. yeah. Let's have a quick taste test. And then look at that. There we are. Fantastic. Let's show that to the camera. That is. Amazing. Mm. I'm gonna have yeah, a quick, gonna have a quick taste. There we go. There we go. This is the fun yeah. part. Sean, you get to miss out. Mm. That's mm. very good. Mm. Mm. That's very good. Mm. Mm. Can we just not say anything and just? Mm. 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 I, I quite um. That was fantastic. Mm. Back to you in the studio. Mm. You reckon I can get through all these? Um. Maybe. Give I'll it a look, go. Look, I think that I want to eat take some away. too. I'm just running late, so no, if you can no, just, put them, I, no, just play them up for me. No. No. Oh, come on, Phil. Come on, please, mate. Please. Please. All right, just let me take one more. Okay, they're mine. Mm. Well done, James. That was, that was the last Phil of Arcos for uh, season two. Yeah, thank you, mate. He's been a, a great sport and um, uh, beautiful food. Thanks to Chris's Dips, of course, for sponsoring that segment throughout uh, the two seasons. Yeah, stuff. Absolutely. <laughs> So that's it. It's, um, that's pretty much that. Pretty much leaves us to the end of uh, not, season two. Not quite, James. Uh, as you might recall, the uh, our Facebook followers have requested something: uh, one thousand likes, <laughs> and we get to shave your bum. Shave yeah. now. Uh, sorry, wax your bum on national oh. pay TV for all our followers, our fans. Yeah, look. <laughs> James, uh, are you ready for this? Not really. Um, <laughs> look, I think uh, look, I think the joke's over now. <laughs> I don't think James, so. why is everyone suddenly just? <laughs> James, this just to let not, you know, uh, what the hell the is jo that? The joke <laughs> has uh, the joke has just begun. No, no, come no, mate. no, no listen, turn no, around, come on, turn just, around, dude. Can we talk about this, dude? No, I'm serious. About can you shut that camera? Can dude, one thousand people no. have requested this. Yeah, but I don't think it's a great idea. So dude, right. dude, we have to. <laughs> just, we have to. We listen. have to do this. No, come dude, on. <laughs> get your ass down. <laughs> okay, wait, ladies. Wait. No. What ladies? We got some ladies wait. from no. Esprit. No. No. You, I'll put listen. the handcuffs on you. All right, all right, all right. No handcuffs. All right. Okay, now listen. Can we? No, just shush. Can we? Can I buy you? No, what James. <laughs> uh, um, ladies from Esprit on uh, on Flinders Lane. Thank you for coming. Absolute no pleasure. Problem. Now uh, we're gonna wax James's uh, bum as as always because <laughs> that's what I found. So what do we have to do to start off with? You okay there? Duck no, down, not just, okay. Just, just <laughs> Hands down. Um, okay, we're gonna pull these things no, down. So Here wait, we go. Wait, wait, <laughs> wait. wait <laughs> come on, oh, guys. Oh, come on. <laughs> Man, that's not cool. James, that is not cool. James, I didn't know you wore G-strings. Well, <laughs> it's, be more comfortable. <laughs> All right, James. Now we're gonna apply some wax to your butt. Think of the fans, James. Think of the fans. What? The, what the, fans? The one thousand oh, followers. Oh, shit, that's hot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, just are you okay, buddy? <laughs> Uh, th think of Aurora. I can't breathe. Think of Aurora. You know, just doing Aurora. this. 30,000 people are watching this around man. Australia right now. Man, this is not around but, Australia. Mate, your house looks oh. very pink. Yeah. <laughs> it's pink because it's, it's, it's shy. That's um, why. Sh we've got some medication for that. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now we've got the strip. Short. I swear, if you, if you fat crack and sack, I'll kill you. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I was about to say. You're lucky that's not no, next. No, no. Come on. Ladies, um, let's just talk to the ladies oh. from, uh, from the lovely salon. Yeah. Um, is this something you do often? Yes. You do? You wax, you wax yes, men's, yes. men's bums? Yes, absolutely. And, and what other services do you do? That's some... We actually do, we've got a lovely 500 square metre day spot at 289 Flinders Lane. There you go, in the city, so, Melbourne? Right smack bang in the city, but it's up mm -hmm. on level one, so you get to be away from everything. Hey, 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 hey this is not, this is your life, my ass is ours! <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man! Just shush! Oh. Well, who's volunteering to rip it? Uh, oh. Me, that'll be me. Oh, Sean! Sure. So, do I get a strip or anything? Oh, or no, no, no. 
Well, you're gonna kick it, and then you just rip. Oh really? Oh my god! I didn't want to. I didn't want to touch. Okay. All right. Okay. So just rip. Ready? 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 There it is there. Nah, 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 nah. Get me off, get me off. <laughs> James, you got one more cheek to go. Am I bleeding? No, you're not, <laughs> you're not bleeding. One more cheek to go. That was so awesome. How, how does it make you feel, man? How does it make you feel? It makes me feel really naked in here. It's all for the fans. It's all for the fans. Listen. There you go. We'll, we'll put that one We'll put that one over here. Where's we, Matt? Can you give me a pat at all? No, it's all right. We've got one more to go. One uh, more to go. It's all uh, for me to take. Ladies, can you do the initial bit? Oh, I have disgusting. to exfoliate now. Ah! James, oh, no. um, if you ah! If your mother is watching, mm. what, what, what's one thing you'd like to say to her? Mum, I'm never coming back home. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now for the last one, we've got one more to go. Are you ready, James? Wasn't that easy? No, there's one more. There's <laughs> one more, one more. Alright. Uh, would you like to dedicate this one to anyone in particular? Yeah. Who? Your mum. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, three, two, one. <laughs> Oh no! Oh, <laughs> it broke. Oh, sorry. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, buddy. Yeah, buddy. I'm so sorry, man. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'll never do this again. Is that it? But in that case, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There's the second one. Woo! Oh, James well done. Thank you to all our fans for uh, liking us and for following us. There it is, James's bum hair right there on National oh Pay TV. God. And if you'd like to see more of that, tune in to next season, oh. season three, where we'll bring more of James. And thank you to the ladies at Esprit on uh, Flinders Lane in Melbourne CBD. Go check them out, do some great haircuts oh. and obviously some great waxing as well. Thank you, ladies. Our pleasure, thank you. We're going to go to a break now when we come back. The big thank you here at the end of season two for 2012. Stay tuned. You okay, mate? Not really. Oh, no, no, did it really hurt? <laughs> did it really hurt? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's come to that time again at the end of season two that we want to send a big, big thank you to the people that put this show together. Uh, that's my thank you. Oh, thank you. Yeah, lots of kisses. And let's start off with the people that obviously fund this show and we're really grateful for our sponsors. First of all, our major sponsor, Chris's Dips, a thank you to Quencher as well, Stones Cafe, Geneva, and of course, Same Day Printing. Without these guys, mm -hmm. uh, the crew wouldn't be able to get paid. And yes, that's right, they do get paid. And it's important that we do say that because a lot of community television, our cast and crew don't get paid, but these guys are able to take uh, money away from uh, working for Planet Earth, which is a great achievement in itself. Uh, also to our supportive sponsors, there's too many of them to mention, but they're all there. Um, so thank you to those guys. Hopefully season three they might throw some money on the table. Yeah, what are we going to wax in season three? <laughs> Your face. Yeah, cool. No, I don't think so. <laughs> my eyebrows. Your eyebrows, maybe. My yeah. eyebrows. Yeah, your eyebrows. That's I think you thing. should wax. I think we should wax something on him in that's season right, three. That's right, that's right. So thank you guys to our cast, some of them that couldn't make it today, but to Lisa Emanuel. Put your hands together for Lisa. Lisa! <laughs> To James Liotta. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. DJ Rob Zion. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. Tommy Jacket, who obviously is not here. Just gonna find a job. Yeah. <laughs> and the man that you might not have seen a lot of, uh, our alien Ed. Yeah. Ed. 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 And, and Ed. If I may, if mm. I may, yes. and we haven't we haven't rehearsed this or scripted it, right? But if I may, what about a round of applause for Mr. Sean Perry, the uh, host yeah. of Planet Unearth, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. And we, we all know the amount of work you've put into the show Cheers. Thank and you, uh, the sacrifices and commitment. So uh, all the best to you. Cheers. And um, uh, if you could just spend 50 bucks just for the, uh, the wax. <laughs> thing. Never mind. I'll reimburse you. Yeah, thanks, that no, right. <laughs> And of course, uh, more importantly, the people behind mm -hmm. the scenes that don't get their face on TV. But today is their day. My crew, come on down! Yeah. 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 To Robert Bender, our director. 
to Surreal, our DOP and camera operator. Yeah, buddy! To Miyuki and Elliot, our sound engineers. Yeah, buddy! To Donato, our, floor, our assistant floor manager. And Matthew, it. our floor manager. Who have I got? Yeah. Our cameraman, Vicky, <laughs> Alex, Luke, and that's it, I've got everyone. And our makeup artist is too shy to come up, uh, Dominique. Thank you, Dominique. But of course, more importantly, Aurora, thank yes. you Aurora for giving us this massive opportunity to come across to Australians. 30,000 of you Australia wide, thank you. We hope to double that in season three. That's right, we are coming back in season three. And of course, to you guys, our fans. Without our fans, we wouldn't be here. So thank you to the guys viewing around Australia, Sydney, Queensland, South Australia, Western Australia, even Tasmania, mate. There's, there's Foxtel that, in Tasmania. That's not part of Australia, though. No, it's not, no. <laughs> thank you, guys. we we'll see you next season. See you later. Yeah! 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 Her eyes glitter like gravel, we're rolling on down the road. And the songbirds singing so beautifully, just turned into a toad. Can't you see what all this nonsense really means? Some things in this life, my friend, just ain't what they seem. Now the horses have bolted the biker's door firmly shut Oh, and all the devils who dared to dream Have had their circuitry cunningly cut Can't you see?